Hi, my name is Seth Hampton, a.k.a. the Movement Master. I'm a master trainer here at Pilates Sports Center in Sino, California. And today, we're going to be showing you an exercise called the Open Leg Rocker. This is one of the traditional mat exercises from the original book, Contrology, by Joseph Pilates. And this is sort of a, a version of this. We're going to really break down this exercise because there's a lot of elements to it, and it's really incredible. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start by just sitting on my sit bones like this and just having a sense of awareness. I'm going to capture my knees and just give my spine a nice stretch up here just to feel that neutral spine ability. Drawing my legs in, I'm going to capture my legs at the bottom. I'm going to open one leg up and then open the other leg up and find a balance right here. I'll take another extension just to feel that place because we're going to be coming back to that place. Now the movement is as follows. We're going to be tucking down, rolling back segmentally, vertebrae by vertebrae, all the way back to about our shoulder blades to pause, and then roll back up with core control support all the way to a nice extended position. We'll do that one more time. I'm going to roll back down with control and roll all the way back up, coming to a full extension. Now, let's talk for a second, okay? There's a lot of different elements that go into this exercise and a lot of ways to modify this exercise, too. For starters, when I'm in this position, I have a sense that I'm really anchoring my legs. My legs are kind of pushing forward and I'm stopping them with my arms. That's going to really keep it in balance. My arms are hooked on and they're straight. And they are hooked, not death gripped. Remember, any time we death grip anything in any exercise, that's going to go right into the neck. So the arms are just hooked. That's creating my balance. Now, as I go down, there's a couple different ways we can breathe. Here's one of the ways I like to do it. I take an inhale to begin. And exhale to start to curl. And begin another inhale. While I'm rolling back. And exhale. Inhale to begin again. There's other ways we can take a nice long exhale down. To continue the exhale, coming all the way back up. So breathing can be variable, and it has a lot of different benefits, too. So there's many different ways to modify this exercise, because it's kind of an advanced exercise, which requires a lot of stability and flexibility. So if that's a challenge for you, here's a couple different ways you can do it. We can, of course, just bend the knees and grab a little bit lower distance and kind of experience it that way. If we have knee issues, we can grab underneath the knees, and that'll protect them. Same kind of process. We also have straps. So if really flexibility is a challenge for you, you could try using these straps on your feet, and that'll give you much more distance and leverage to work from. There's an option. Another way to do this exercise, if even going back is too much for you, you can simply just exercise the hold. Holding it and rolling like a ball series, or extending out. Try holding it right there. That's going to be just as beneficial. So for those of you advanced athlete types out there, we got some fun variations. And let me just also say that the purpose of this exercise is very slow and controlled. It's not about momentum. It's not about the end destination. So it's not rocking back and then hoisting yourself up like that. Any fool can do a hoist <sighs> and say, ah, I did the exercise. But that's not the exercise. That would be more an exercise of the ego. So what we're going to be doing is going slow down. It's about spinal articulation and control, feeling each abdominal access the movement. That's our goal. For the advanced exercises, we can take our legs and bring them all the way together, perhaps flex our feet, grab onto our toes, and execute the same process. And exhale, coming all the way back up. It's kind of a challenge, but it's a good one. Another one we can do is both legs and arms out together. Try doing it this way. Back down, all the way up, and through, holding it at the end. We also can grab props. There's so many delicious things to do here. Do a little 
adductor work for the inner thighs, pressing in, doing the same thing with the open leg rocker, all the way up. It almost becomes kind of like a teaser movement. We can do the same thing with the legs inside too. So a lot of different fun ways to experience this exercise from a very advanced level to a very modified level. It's great for stability. Make sure you're warm when doing this exercise because it does require a lot of back work. This exercise actually was number eight in the Contrology series originally done by Joseph Pilates. It's great. Have a good one and there's more to come.